their students. For example, there are statements like this. Do you want to go back to my room? Do you want to get busy? Can I take your shirt off? It makes me hot when you touch me. Here, can you do that? Is it okay if I take my pants off? This is outrageous. This should not be taught in the classroom. We are state legislators from Minnesota, and we are pushing hard against the agenda to sexualize our children. Minnesota is on the leading edge of this uh, radical agenda, and we're trying our best to fight against it. They're pushing a comprehensive sexual education agenda, including the book, It's Perfectly Normal. It is pornography. It is something that even some of my colleagues, men especially on the House floor, did not want to look at. Showing children as young as fourth grade, in fact, it's recommended for fourth graders as their comprehensive sex education. We couldn't show this on the television news, but yet we want our fourth grade children to be looking at this book. When a child looks at a pornographic image within three tenths of a second, that's imprinted on his brain and her brain permanently. We know the, that there's an action that takes place which is called mirroring images so that children will want to or will act out what they see. In the name of sexuality education, children are seeing obscene materials that have been ruled by Congress and by the Supreme Court impossible to show to children. Where we in Latin America, we still have a lot of poverty. We have communities that don't have fresh water, that don't have electricity, children that cannot finish even primary school. Focus is completely shifted from basic needs to, to this very idealized agenda. They get comprehensive sexual education without the consent of parents, taking and deconstructing the family. They have really concerning campaigns for children. The strongest one is we demand sexual education, impossible to live without it. Uh, one of them is called Put It On. They have elementary students as young as nine years old. Then they teach them how to wear a condom. And they have this plastic genitalia, and they even have uh, young girls. They're teaching them how to put a condom on a male genitalia and boys how to put a condom on a woman genitalia without the knowledge and consent of the parents. Most people are unaware that International Planned Parenthood Federation, also known as IPPF, is one of the largest providers of graphic comprehensive sexuality education programs. With 65,000 service points in over 170 countries, this should concern governments and parents everywhere. My brother Luigi and I had an opportunity to go to the United Nations and give a speech on the UN floor. First, my brother explained yeah. about how we became it's orphans when both of our parents died of AIDS. I told them how Planned Parenthood was passing out a booklet for HIV positive youth at the United Nations called Healthy, Happy and Hot. This is for the kids who have AIDS. The booklet says its purpose, and I quote, to support your sexual pleasure. It tells youth they can have sex in different ways. It teaches about sexual pleasure through masturbation with same-sex partners and even if you are drunk. One of the most disturbing things I think that I've ever seen as a physician, this pamphlet called Healthy, Happy, and Hot, put out by International Planned Parenthood Federation, tells young people and you have the right not to disclose your HIV status to a sexual partner if you're not comfortable. I was just so offended at the booklet that Planned Parenthood put out, inviting people living with HIV to engage in the very acts that would harm them. It's all about rights instead of health. It also tells young people that are HIV positive that if they decide with their partner not to wear a condom, that's their decision. It's just this kind of information. It's so unbelievable to me as a physician. This kind of message was a death sentence to not only both of my parents, but also my brother Rogerio. I couldn't understand how a pro-abortion or abortion service provider in the United States of America was in South Africa and promoting the homosexual lifestyle. Here we try to protect young people from getting HIV AIDS and be promoting a lifestyle that is very high risk. In Guatemala, an affiliate of Planned Parenthood is huge. They have more than 2,600 service points 27 permanent clinics and five mobile units. 
Planned Parenthood became very active uh, in the 90s in Russia after the collapse of Soviet Union. They would provide uh, textbooks for the Russian Ministry of Education and penetrate the official educational uh, networks. Some of those uh, textbooks were really bad and tried really to sexualize children. The Swedish Planned Parenthood presented a film of about 30 minutes, an animated film which is addressed to young people 13 to 14 years old. It is called Sex on the Map. In this film, the young people are taught that anything is okay as long as you agree and it feels right for you. The International Planned Parenthood Federation, especially in the Latin American region, is omnipresent. Be it at the mission at the United Nations, the person, for example, working on the actual language, drafting the document, is a direct International Planned Parenthood affiliate. We see the same thing in the Mexican government. They're usually the number one advisor to the mission. They have a direct influence on the outcome documents, on what, what is established, what is negotiated at the UN. Planned Parenthood is one of the largest organizations in the world pushing sexual health and reproductive rights. What the What they mean by that is not so much about reproducing. It's not about health care for babies, for mothers who want to have babies. It's trying to prevent the birth of babies. Many of the key players that are advisors to the representatives of various countries, they are actually directly linked to um, International Planned Parenthood Federation. It's really striking how International Planned Parenthood Federation plays such a big role, and what we just can't put our finger on is how <coughs> that happened. Margaret Sanger, the founder, of Planned Parenthood Federation. In its movement, it happened because of our beautiful family, the Rockefellers, founded the uh, World Health Organization, and then they did the they, 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 they founded the, uh, the IPPF. So it, you just can't comprehend. They do it through education, making sure that whatever reproductive health care is wanted is in the direction of not having children. The It's All One curriculum also promoted by International Planned Parenthood, reveals the multiple manipulative tactics used to indoctrinate and sexualize children through CSE. Like other CSE programs, It's All One claims, among other things, to be evidence-based, comprehensive, human rights, gender-sensitive, and culturally appropriate education that will increase young people's responsible decision-making to reduce adolescent rates of pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections, including HIV. It's All One, however, like most CSC programs, is really just cleverly disguised abortion rights, sexual pleasure education, masquerading as human rights, gender, and sexual and reproductive health education. It indoctrinates youth in radical... <laughs> you just can't. It's like, look at it, look at it. These are, these have set up everything around the world. They've been running the world for, for 100 years, 120 years. Into UNICEF. UDIP. The World Bank. IP, IPPF, they're one of the large ones. UniAIDS. They've got the finger. They, they, they are the pies. They've got the, the, they've got the finger and the pies. And the pudding. Uh, every, they, they're just... Just been running the world and they just killed millions and millions of people and, went, and all for control and money and they just want to, they just like, want to control us and make us into nothing like puppets. Like, what what's wrong with them? What's actually wrong? And, I, and now this other guy's jumped on the block who, who wants to put pills in us and control us that way and monitor us and, and you know, I don't need to mention any names, but my beard looks pretty good though. I like, I like my beard. <laughs> But I've just spent 15 hours, 15, 16 hours going through the, the World Health Organization to find some stuff. And you go in and you, you go to another page, another page, and it doesn't actually tell you anything. You can't, it's so difficult. Have a look for yourself. It's so difficult to find anything in there. And I, like I so said, 15 hours to get to where I've got to now. And, 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 and the plot thickens, and I've got, I've got to this, uh, the, the, uh, the IPPF. And, uh, I thought, the, the, this is this this sounds this this is smelly when I found the IPPF about the children and what's happening this so and who founded it and this and the other and bang there we go the old Rockefellers started it funded it with some bird 
Yeah, I will fund it. You start it. The biggest organisation in the world. <laughs> you can't. Great. It's like when you look in the star, you look up in the sky. You look up in the sky and you think, it's endless. Where's the end? Is there an end? It, it, it can't be an end. If there's an end, there's, if there's a wall there, yeah, and you say, oh, that's the end, there's got to be something else on the, wall, on the other side of the wall. It's just the same as this. It's like, it just goes on and on and on. I can't believe governments and, and, and our politicians and our prime ministers and the presidents of the world has allowed this to happen. I just, what's happening? They're just all over power. They're, really, they're in control of the whole world. Killing people. Telling people. It's okay, you don't have to tell your partner. If you've got age, you can just do it. Wow, God. Anyway, I'm going to cut this video short. It's 10 minutes. Um, we've got to stop them. We need some more grains of sand to build a mountain and stop these mothers. All right, guys, love you loads. Bye.